with a Dharma video for you guys today. This one is based on a true story, so I'm excited for this one because when I saw the title, I was like, what kind of video is this? This doesn't happen, and then based on a true story. So it's based on, on a true story, guys. Just in case, I'm going to plug in my camera right now, just in case it doesn't die on me. Just in case the battery dies on me or something. There we go. But yeah, this one is called Teacher Kicks Out Mom at School. She lives to regret. I saw this, and I was like... I'm pretty sure a teacher's not going to be like, you, parent, get the fuck out of the school. I doubt that's going to happen, but apparently I did. So, kind of curious as to what happened, because, like, why? Was was the te or was, was the parent misbehaving? Like, I don't really know what to say here. It's based on a true story, so whatever happens here, guys, happened. So, I'm kind of scared because, it's, again, I saw an audio video where you can just say, oh, pff, it's fine, it's just a Dharma video. No, bitch, this actually happened, so I'm, I make it a little bit pissed off. My, I'll make it a little bit more pissed off than usual, even though I'm pissed off in every video as it is. Um, but yeah, this teacher's gonna kick out this mother, and I don't know why, but we're gonna find out. So let's go, guys. And if you want, yeah, based on a true story. If you're wondering how I know, it's because I have it downloaded its prior, so I can open like the first two two Abby? seconds, and I see that it's a true story. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, hi, Mrs. Thompson. Yep, I'm this is the teacher that's gonna kick her out. Sweetie, are you sure they're coming? Yeah, she's just running a little late. Is the teacher not allowed to leave? I'm just going to wait with you. And this works out well because I need a parent to sign your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. <laughs> oh, there's my ride. That, that's the mom? Hi. I'm so sorry I'm late. Things just got a little crazy. She's like 15. You know, school got out over 20 minutes ago. Poor Emmy's been sitting here waiting all by herself. That's not safe. Yeah, I know, and I'm so sorry. It's just, I, I got off work late, and traffic was kind of hectic, but I got here as soon as I could. She's like 15. That's a good way to start off the first day of school. If this happens again, I'll have to write it up. I completely understand. I promise it won't happen you're, again. Are uh, you going to invite up the parent? Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been playing the game. I knew you were coming soon. Okay, that, that doesn't make any sense. You, are, are you going to write up a, t a parent? You can't write up a parent. And, and you can't write up a kid because the kid did nothing. You can't write up a parent. They're not in that school. You can't write them up. Like, you're not, they're not working for you. This isn't a job where you fucked up, I'm writing you up. You, that, that, that makes no sense to me. And the fact that this is a true story just makes me, like, mind-boggled. But what, so, again, the kid is, like, what, 10? And this girl's, like, 15. So what the hell? Like, she popped out a kid at, like, four, like four years old? She's literally, like, again, that's the parent, right? But she just said that's my ride, not my parent. So, I bet this is the si si sister, which would make a lot more sense. But if she's the parent, then she's, like, 15, 16, 17, 18 max. Because she's no more than 18. And this, and this girl's at least, like, 10. So this girl gave birth at like either four, between four and eight years old, this girl gave, gave birth at. So that's a little concerning. Anyways, yeah, you can't write up a kid or you can't write up a parent because they didn't do anything. Especially because she just came from work late. Like that's not her fault. She came here as soon as she could. To be fair, she also hit a garbage can. So she obviously does know and not, not know how to drive. Again, she's like 12 years old. Sorry, 16, 17, or 18. But yeah, she's she doesn't know. Ready to go? Hold on. Oh my god. I need a parent to sign this. It's a permission slip for tomorrow's aquarium visit. Yeah, this teacher oh, already yeah, seems yeah. like a... Sign it? Just need to So she's yeah, the parent. I'll sign it. A parent needs to. Yeah, I know. I'm Emmy's legal guardian. Oh. Okay, that's not possible. What so, are you, 18? There's no way you're her legal guardian. Actually, I'm 21. Wow. Oh. And I've been looking after Emmy for a while now. Okay, so she's not the mom, I don't understand. but she's the guardian. It's sort of a long story, but if you need any proof, I could definitely get you some documents. No, I think I need to speak to the school. What What was your name again? Quinn. I know it's a weird situation, to say the least. It definitely concerns me how young you are, especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. She was late from work. To be her guardian. You know, she was I late from work. Young, but my age doesn't define my abilities. 
And I think I do a pretty good job considering everything. What do you say? Yeah, Quinn's the best. I'll be watching you, Quinn. I'll be watching you, Quinn. Like, fuck out of here. Like, I, I get it if she's concerned, but it's like, the kid's fine. Like, being concerned generally as a parent or a, or a prof is just kind of like, you know? Like, look at what she's wearing. She's a total Karen. Where's your lunch, Emmy? Uh, Emmy? Quinn didn't give you anything to eat? No, but she's gonna drop it off soon. I think. She didn't even bring pork and eat lunch. Maybe she forgot. Oh, that's no excuse. Every parent here has made sure their child has something to eat. So irresponsible. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. You confirmed with the school that Quinn is her legal guardian, right? Yes, but I swear that girl, that girl is not capable of being a legal guardian. I'm going to go speak to the principal once we're done with the field trip. Hey, got your lunch. Please tell me you got chicken nuggets. Oh, of course. Fresh like McDonald's. Sauce too, your favorite. Thanks, Quinn. You're the best. Yes, it is. Quinn. What are you doing now? That's what you bought her to eat? It is so unhealthy. She doesn't eat like this every day. Okay. Do you even feed her every day? Of course I do. What kind of question <sighs> is that? Okay, Quinn. What do you cook for her? Oh my god, this, it, it, this isn't your business. business. Great way to dodge a question. I can't even believe you would suggest that I would starve any. You know what? You don't fool me. I was 21 once. You probably didn't make her lunch because you were out partying all night. Actually, I have a full-time job. And I'm a full-time student. Oh, shit. So no, I wasn't partying. Right. Tell you what. I will take care of Emmy today. I will buy her lunch so she doesn't have to eat that garbage. Hi! Can I see that? Uh, sure. Thanks. You, you better not throw it in the garbage. Can you get them ready, please? Sure. All right, kids, gather in. <laughs> no, don't. Why would you do that? She asked for that. Oh, shit. I am going to go buy her some real food, like a responsible parent would do. Well, you're not her parent. Have a good day, Quinn. But you can't do that. I said good day, Quinn. All right, bitch. everybody, let's go. We don't want to keep the bus waiting. Okay, in the sense of her wanting to eat healthy, I get it. I get it. Like, you don't want her to have, like, an unhealthy meal. But again, like, if it's once in a while, that's not a huge deal. If it's every day, that's, that's concerning. But if it's a once in a, you know, once in a little while, she asked for it, whatever. You know, for a field trip, that's fine. You know, you know, you know what I mean? She was a little bit late, but she made it. You know what I mean? She has, has a full-time job. She's a student, and she's trying to take care of a kid. That's a lot. I, work, I do full-time school. I do part-time or full-time YouTube, and I work at a other part-time job and I work at another part-time job that I, that, that, that I barely work at. Im imagine having like full-time YouTube, full-time school, full-time job, full-time watching a kid. Mm -mm, that, that's not easy. So this te teacher needs to freaking relax and take a chill pill. Again, I, I, I appreciate that she wants to kids to eat healthy, but again, if it's once in a while, it's not that big of a deal. Like, do we even feed her every day? Are, are you probably partying all night, weren't you? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, wh why are you assuming? Again, a lot of twenty-one-year-olds do party. We can't. We, we can't deny that they do party. A lot of them. I don't. I don't party for shit. I don't do anything. Like the like the cl closest I've been to partying in the last two years was going bowling the other night. <laughs> so that's me partying. Um, the other yeah, girl. Like I get. I get the. I get the teacher's like thought process, but it's like she has to chill and not dig into her business so much because it's not her kid. Like that's not her responsibility. But I get, I get it, like, you know, trying to be a, because, like, maybe she probably has kids of her own and she's probably just concerned, which I, I, I understand. Like, I'm not going to judge her for just being concerned, but, like, you're, you're not the parent. You kind of got to lay off a little bit. You know what I mean? So, like, I get it. She's going about it the wrong way, though. And, and, and she's always a stupid Karen bitch in the videos. What's that, apple juice? Ah, that's a big jug of apple juice. Here you go. Do you need any help with that? Yeah, just right. I swear to God, if that's the freaking teacher. Who's Hi. that? Hi, I'm looking for Ms. Myers. Yep, it's me. I'm Julie. I'm a caseworker with CPS. Child Protective Services. Uh, child oh. Protective Services? Okay. Um, are you sure you have the right house? 
you're Miss Quinn Myers, right? Yeah, I'm just confused why you're here. I'm just here for a brief home visit. Is it all right if I come in? Yeah, sorry, did, did someone call you or something? Or I just I don't understand why you're here. We received a complaint. So I just need to do a routine inspection. Who complained? <clears throat> no, we know who. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to, to disclose, disclose that information. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know who it was. Yeah, you can come on in. I was just helping her with her homework. Thank you. And again, this, guys, this is based on a true story. So she has to like it. it, it it's not the girl's fault. She she's with CPS and she has to. Child you know, Protective Services. Seriously? Excuse me. You cannot just barge in here like yes, that. Yes, I can. Way too much on my plate. I don't need you adding more stress. Thank you. Know you. What, Quinn? Yeah, you go off, Quinn. You go off. It's not my fault that you're an unfit mother and you can't take care of Emmy. I'm doing I'm just, just fine. Out for her. I'm doing you just fine. Shouldn't be trying to take her away from someone that loves her. I am the only person who can take care of her. Look, a lot of children go through the system and they turn out just fine. Emmy needs a responsible adult in her life to take care of her. She, she's Not 21. She's an adult. Can't even pick her up on time. Oh, shut that up. That happened one time. That's it. And I already told you what happened. Yeah, always an excuse. Just like you couldn't bring her a proper lunch. She eats fast food once a week because that's what she likes. And I'm just... Quinn, you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Oh, God. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. Right, yeah, she... I hope they do take her. No, oh, she's in a killer. She's in a killer. Do you have any idea what Emmy's been through? Or how I even became her legal guardian? No, I don't. Then shut the fuck up. Then I'll tell you. You see. Not that Emmy you owe an explanation. Living with our dad. Two years ago. My mom passed away when I was little, and Emmy's mom abandoned her. Even though we both didn't have our moms... This is gonna be sad. Our dad showed us more love than we could ever ask for. He worked so hard to make sure we both had everything we needed. And did whatever he could to keep us happy. Uh, I see a sad part coming on. So much so that he never told us he was sick. By the time Emmy and I found out, it was too late. It turned out our dad had late stage cancer. He never told us because he didn't want us to worry. That's how much he loved us. After he passed away, Emmy and I had no other family to go to. I was old enough to take care of myself. But since Emmy was under 18, she was taken away into the system. Mm. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. After that, I did everything I could to get Emmy back. I found out I could become her legal guardian, and I fought for months to make that happen. Despite my age, Seeing how responsible I was, the judge decided to say yes. I'll never forget the day I got her back. That day I promised her that no matter what, I would always be by her side. We've been together ever since. So you see, all she has. I, I know we're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one she should be with besides me. Please, just don't take her away from me. I mean, if not for me, then for Emmy's sake, please. Look, if what you're saying is true, then I'm really sorry that you've been through that. My ass. But just because you want to take care of Emmy doesn't mean you're able to. She has like been I able said, to. I'll just wait for CPS's findings.
Hello, oh. Mrs. Thompson? There she is. Hi, how'd it go? I'm still conducting my investigation, but after my initial inspection, I feel like Quinn is doing an incredible job taking care of Emmy. Really? Yeah. I'm very impressed, especially considering her age. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think her case will be closed pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Watch her try to sabotage something or make her look like a bad mom or something like that. I feel like she yes. will. Yes, please. You do such a good job. I swear I can't do it at all. Who is that now? Is that the freaking teacher or CPS or something? Oh. Coming once again. No. Oh. Miss Thompson, what are you doing here? I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. Oh, I do. It's because you're your a bitch. From the school. Is, that, is that even legal? Okay. Allowed? I came over because I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. For judging you. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, CPS concluded their investigation. And everything that you said is true. Emmy really is lucky to have you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming all the way out here. I mean, you really didn't have to do that. Oh, and also, I wanted to drop off this. McDonald's? Chicken nuggets, french fries, and barbecue sauce. Enough for the both of you. Thank you. You know, I was cooking dinner, but I think Emmy's gonna eat this. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. And also, we're having a field trip next week. Oh, yeah, I can help you sign that up. What I was going to ask you is, would you like to join us? It would be a lot more fun having you there. Especially because you're so great with the kids. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Great. So I'll see you soon. You guys have a good night. Thank you. You too. Did you already eat all of them? Really? What? Oh, come on, kids. Hunter and Gracie shared. Hunter and Gracie shared the same dad who passed away in 2015. When Gracie's mom passed away in 2021, Gracie was going to be sent into foster care. Half sister Hunter decided to take action. She learned the legal process and found a way to adopt her younger sibling. Hunter had to grow up very fast and sometimes gets judged by others as to how she's such a young mom without people even knowing what happened. Hunter and Gracie's inspiring story reminds us that you should never judge someone before getting to know them. If you want to support them, see the link in the description. Where's your mom? I was adopted. Kids at school can be. See what I mean, guys? Like, you never know anybody's story. And and again, I get it. Like, there are bad people out there 100%. And you may not believe someone that tells you something. But again, if you don't know their story, you really can't judge. You know what I mean? You can't just go based off assumptions. Like, they like they seem like they're, they're, they're a bad mom. She was the late one. She's a terrible mother. You know what I mean? Like, again, there are asshole people in this world. There, there really are. And, like, you just never know when someone actually needs help or, you know, if, if CPS needs to be involved or, you know, like, when stuff needs to, like, when action needs to be taken, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's just, like, you have to be mindful that you can't just barge in into someone's life. Like, you can't, you can't try to, like, take over. Like, you're not their parent. You can't just come out of nowhere and be like, yeah, I'm calling CPS on you, like... You know what I mean? Like, again, I get her, like, concern. I understand. Because, again, some parents are really bad. Like, some parents are li are literally trash parents. They should not be parents at all. They shouldn't have been parents to begin with. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you can't judge any, any, anybody's story because you don't even know them. Like, it's not, it's not like Emmy looked like she was, like, depressed or uh, as if she hated her life. Like, as if she hated going with Emmy. That could also be an act, for sure. But, like, again, there's hints that usually there's something off. And there was no hints. You know what I mean? Like, Emmy seems fine. She's she's old enough to say, yeah, somebody's not right at home. She can easily tell her teacher to call CPS and then she can be taken away. You know what I mean? It's, it's not that difficult to do that. You know what I mean? Like, all you have to do is tell a prof, a teacher, that, you know, I'm being mistreated, mistreated at home and they can basically help that. Like, they can call CPS, they can call the police, they can have that handled. 
You know what I mean? But like, Emmy just seemed fine, so you can't really just judge and say, yeah, you're a bad mom. Like, you don't even know her story. And again, like, that's the, that, that's the thing. A lot of, a lot of people you don't, like, you speak to and stuff, you think you know them, but they probably went through a lot more than, than maybe you did. They went a lot more, they went through a lot more than you think they did. You know what I mean? It's, it's not easy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, a really good video for sure. And again, the, I, I don't really see how she kicked her out. So Darman really, like, not escalates these videos, but she just makes, like, he makes the videos sound weird. Like, teacher kicks out mom, she didn't kick her out of it at all, really. Like, she just kind of said, have a good day, whatever, or she was like, kind of like, bye, bye. Like, she didn't kick her out of the school, like, grab her by the ass and get the fuck out of the school. Like, no, she didn't do that at all. She's a teacher, you're not the principal, you can't just kick out a, a parent, you know what I mean? Like, that's not how that works. And it says mom, so kicks out mom at school, but, that, but that's not her mom. That's her caregiver, so there's another issue by Darman. That's not even her mom. That's the care caregiver. There, there was no one kicked out. So, anyways, I hope that made sense to you guys. Again, just don't judge without getting to know anybody. And again, the, the world is a cruel place. You never know. A, a lot of kids do need help. You know what I mean? Because like they are in a really bad situation, and you and you may not know who is like who that person is that needs help. You know what I mean? Like you just may not know. Um. And it may be hard, and like, if you see like something that seems a little bit sus and you want to help and you want to see, like, talk to the person about it, like, see what's going on. Talk to the little girl guardian, talk to the kid, talk to Emmy, see how she is, like, is she giving any signs of that she's being abused or, you know, anything like that? Like, get proof first, don't just call CPS right away. I don't know. But like, you, like, you guys get what I mean? Like, again, people are t t t t terrible and do mistreat their kids. And some, and some kids really do need help urgently, like right now, because they're in like an abusive home or something, or in a bad home. But don't 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 assume that that's the case without any facts. Like at least have some facts to back up your initial statement, your initial thought that this person's being abused or that that this person's being ne neglected, not being fed. You know what I mean? Like actually have some proof of that at least uh, before jumping into calling CPS right away. You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did, did, did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below to you this video. And be sure to subscribe to, to Darman's channel and my channel as well. I actually kind of want to like look more into their story if I can. He said it was in the description. Based on a true story, Hunter E. Nelson. I'm going to look that, that up right now. If it loads. No, you're not going to load on me. Hunter E. Not Lenson Nelson. Uh, people are praising 21 year old for being a parent to 15 year old yeah so I may look more into this but yeah honestly that's a really sweet story and again never judge a book by its cover never judge anyone until you know their story until you know their true story you know what I mean and don't assume anyone, anybody's lying either like oh yeah this is your story no it's not like don't lie listen to it anyways that's the end of the video I'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching deuces